Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. In today's video, we are going to take a quick look at what is going on between ARK Invest and Resolute Investment Management. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. Like I said, today we are discussing ARK Invest as Resolute Investment Management is looking to take a majority ownership in them. So we're gonna take a look at the agreement between the two companies and how this is looking like it's going to play out and Kathy Wood's reaction to that. And just before we jump into all of that, this is just your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let us know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you'd like to further support the channel, make sure to check out some of the links that we have in the description down below. This includes a link to my Patreon page, which gets you access to our Discord chat group. Plus, there are some awesome referral links if you're looking to start a new investment account. Right now, until November 18th, Webull is giving away three free stocks just for opening up and making your initial deposit to your account. Now, if you're watching this video, I have a feeling you're probably familiar with who ARK Invest and Kathy Wood are. But just as a quick refresher, these guys are an ETF company that are focused on disruptive innovation. They have multiple funds ranging from autonomous technology and robotics, genomic revolution, and next generation internet. Now, ARC is run by Kathy Wood, and if you want a bit of a further dive into some of these funds, make sure to check out our previous video on ARC ETFs. But today, we are focused on ARC Invest and their relationship with Resolute Investment Managers. As it has just come out in the news this week that Resolute is exercising its option to take majority control of ARC Investment Management, a move which is not supported by ARC's leader. Resolute, which takes stakes in money managers, acquired a minority stake in ARC in 2016 alongside an agreement that it would serve as the exclusive U.S. distributor of ARC's investment strategies, which focus on technologically enabled disruptive companies. In an October 29th SEC filing, ARC reported that as part of the 2016 agreement, Resolute has an option to purchase a controlling voting and equity interest in ARC that is exercisable in 2021, and said Resolute notified the firm on the same date that it intends to exercise that option. Casey Sheets, a spokeswoman for Resolute, declined to comment on the company's decision to increase ownership of ARC to a majority stake. Neither firm provided the size of the existing and future ownership stakes or the financial terms of the deal in response to pension and investments requests. According to ARC's most recent SEC ADV filing, Catherine Wood, the firm's CEO and CIO, holds an ownership stake in the firm she founded in 2014 of 50% to 75%. And so how does Kathy Wood feel about Resolute exercising this option? In a statement, Ms. Wood expressed the firm's negative view of Resolute's action. On behalf of the employee owners of ARC, we are disappointed that Resolute Investment Managers and its private equity owner, Kelso & Co., have chosen to issue this unwelcome notice that they intend to seize control of our business. As reported by Morningstar, ARC has delivered top one percentile returns for multiple products over one, three, and five year periods. Thanks to our research and investing success, paired with our innovative digital marketing strategies, ARC now ranks among the largest ETF issuers in the US. The remarkable success of our team is rooted firmly in a culture of transparency, collaboration, and employee ownership. We do not believe that the equity ownership by a party tangential to our business is in the best interest of ARC's stakeholders. Now, separately, ARC has issued an RFP, or Request for Proposal, to explore the potential of replacing Resolute Investment Distributions. So this is just very interesting timing, as Resolute exercising their option to take a majority ownership might have been in response to seeing that there was requests being put out there to replace them. Now, in one article, it is said that the response from ARC pushing back against an option that was in the original contract is not common at all in these kinds of deals. And this is according to an executive at a firm that buys stakes in asset and wealth managers who spoke anonymously because he's not familiar with the specifics of their deal with Resolute. But a minority deal is only a minority deal if these sorts of stipulations and conditions are not attached to it. When you do a deal where someone takes a stake with the option to buy more, you're selling a strategic stake to someone who ultimately can control the business. 
So it is going to be very interesting to see how all of this plays out. As of right now, it is seeming like a bit of a hostile takeover. There is some speculation online whether Kathy Wood would stay with ARC or if she would move on if Resolute does take majority ownership. And that would obviously be a huge blow to ARC Invest, as I'm sure a lot of her team would probably follow along with her. But it is hard to speculate without knowing all the legal logistics of their arrangement. On another side note though, it is important to note that this news should not affect their ETFs at all, as ETFs are based on the individual companies within them that they're invested in. So any negative news surrounding ARK will not directly affect the companies it holds in their ETF. On that note though, if Kathy Wood were to leave ARK Invest and people lost faith in the company, we could see a mass exodus of people withdrawing their investments, which of course would have a negative impact on the company. As of now, we will just have to sit tight and wait to see some further updates on how this situation is going to progress. So leave your thoughts down below in the comments. How do you think this is going to play out and what are the real options here? I always love hearing from you guys, so make sure to leave a note. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and cheers.